Hi guys, I hope you're well. So last week I shared a picture of my hair after using the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Um, I had several requests from people asking me to put together a video on how I dry my hair because I had a few um, people that said they'd bought the tool and they weren't really able to get the desired results. So today I am going to be showing you how I use mine. Um, I've just washed my hair probably about 30 minutes ago and it is about 80% dry I'd say. Um, so historically I've not been able to blow dry my hair myself. I end up having to get it done or I just used to wash and straighten my hair um, because I just, I've got a lot of hair and it was just really difficult. So I've never actually successfully blow dried my hair at home. Um, and this tool has helped me massively with being able to achieve the blow dry look. Um, so I am going to show you how it's done. So first of all, um, I'm just gonna roughly part my hair. I haven't put anything in it. I have had a keratin hair treatment done um, a few weeks ago now and I think that really helps with how quick my hair dries. It doesn't take as long as it used to, um, which, which is great and the texture is also lovely as well. So what I do is I literally get my hair and I take a little section and pin this up. And so I do it underneath and on top to make sure my roots aren't busy. So I start off with just trying to take out any moisture in my hair. It's removing um, a lot of the frizz and by the way in which I'm tilting the brush so I go down this way and then when I'm ready to curl I just kind of loosen it this way and that's how I'm able to get get those kind of waves in my hair when it comes to the front of my head I take quite thin strips um, just to get closer to my closer to my scalp I do a mix of twisting in and twisting out um, just to give it that volumized kind of look. You guys know I love my big hair. And at the back, um, usually I used to um, backcomb my hair, as you guys know, at least once a week whenever I washed it. I only need to wash my hair once a week. But with this, the beauty of this is because of the size of the brush, you can actually get that lift at the back using the brush. And it's just by tucking it under your head, which I'll show you in a minute, tucking it on the under part of your hair and just holding the heat there for a few moments. So it kind of gives you that lifted look. So <clears throat> hold it there for a few seconds not too long because I don't want to damage my hair can you see that it's lifted ever so slightly if you feel the brush is pulling because there were a few people that felt that the brush pulls at your roots I'll just hold my hair like I was just then um, to prevent it from actually pulling at the roots so I'm going to do this bit
I've nearly done this this side you can see that it's um bouncy it's big it's wavy and the beauty about this is that it lasts so it will last me a whole week without having to go over it but I'm going to finish it off to show you um just do this bit before I go on to the other side So that's one half of my head done and on to the next side. So before I move on actually I'm just going to put a little bit of um, coconut milk hair serum on that side just to eliminate any um, little bit of frizz that there might still be. I don't need a lot at all because um, most of it has been taken out using the hair dryer and you can see just how healthy, volumized, and bouncy my hair looks. I don't even need to back comb that. So that's one side, that's the after. And that's obviously the before. So I'm gonna do this side now. have it right let me just put a little bit of serum in the, on this side to reduce any frizz um, again not too much and I'm just using the coconut milk um, nourishing anti-breakage system serum and there you have it it's volumized, it's, um, it feels silky, it didn't take me very long and this will last me the entire week. I hope you found that useful.